Hello and thank you for your interest in our work. My name is Tim Rietz from the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology and I'm the developer of Kodi, an interactive machine learning tool or system um, that is supposed to make qualitative coding scalable while increasing the quality of your coding. In the next minutes, I will give you a short presentation of the functions that you can expect from Kodi. So let's dive right in. First of all, you can create a new document, upload it from your computer, and specify if it text or if you used another um, of the implemented interview methods and specify unit of analysis, which means do you allow freeform annotations or does your annotation snap to the next paragraph, for example. Then you select your uploaded file from a list of files you have already worked on or saved, and then you can start with making annotations. So the annotations I'm going to make are just examples, so don't take them too seriously. For example, let's highlight this as never used chatbot. The system will then try to make a suggestion for code rule based on the information available in the label and in your annotation. For example, now we see use and chatbot and encounter or technology. Doesn't even look too bad, but let's say it's encounter chatbot and never because label is never encountered. And then maybe there's not only the word encounter, but also maybe used or maybe checked out. And as soon as you make this annotation and change the code rule, you see that here a new code suggestion has popped up based on this code rule. If you click on this, you can also see which keywords were found in this section. For example, never used in chatbot. Great. But what happens if you add a label, maybe test label, specify a code rule, maybe chatbot and believe and likely. That conflicts with an existing um, suggestion that the system made. Now we see it highlights an alternative. If I click this, I see, all right, two labels have been suggested, the never news chatbot and our test label for different reasons, which might um, prime you as a researcher to think about the code rule you defined. What the system also does is um, train a machine learning model in the background based on the annotations you already made. Um, in comparison to code rules, you can see here 100% um, well, confidence is shown because the code rule is either going to be matched or not matched. For machine learning, this value will um, be below 100%. And you can also see maybe shared res um, responsibility model why this suggestion was made based on the word that is highlighted in the keyword section. And sometimes this word might make sense. Maybe for benefits of compliance um, automation, shared is a highly indicative word. Maybe it's not. The idea of the supervised machine learning model that we retrain in the background every time that you make an annotation or change an annotation is that it picks up on your annotation style, gets better the more annotations you make, and eventually will be good enough to hint you at maybe sort of false negatives of your code rules. So instances that you would want to code, but that are not yet included in your code rules, so you can adjust them. In the end, ideally, you as a researcher or you as a research group are able to define precise code rules for every label that you could then also transfer to a new document or unseen data and sort of in a semi-automatic fashion extend your coding to these unseen data. And you can also have an overview of how many codes you have already used. This is pretty much below 30 right here. So we can't expect the machine learning model right here to be or to give perfect annotations already, but it will increase in quality the more you code. That's Cody. Thank you very much for your attention.